Hello uh, and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 5 with a special little mini championship, if you like. We are going to go racing. We're starting off with some C-Class cars. Uh, everyone started off with a car that can be built to the top of C-Class. We've got four races. At the end of each race, depending on your finishing position, you are going to be given more PI to add on to your car. You win the race, you get 5 PI. You come second, you get 10 PI. So the further down the race you end up, the more you will be able to upgrade your car. In fact, 12th place is going to get 60 PI, which is a big jump. We're going to see how it all pans out. Um, there are various theories, there are various plans going on with the cars. Uh, of course, the drivers will score points based on their finishing position, so essentially the main, gay, the main aim of this is to outperform the PI of your car. Um, no one's going to be able to win all four races. It'll be completely impossible with <laughs> with this. Um, yeah, you just got to try and s score as well as you can with your vehicle. I've got my uh, Fair Lady Z here. Uh, I'm feeling fairly confident uh, that this will be good in the C-Class. I don't know what it's going to be like afterwards. Uh, the other big rules for the builds is you're not allowed to, uh, to reset your build on your car. So let's say two races in, you've not done great and you have a big chunk of PI to play with, you can't actually just restart your build. You're kind of only really allowed to add parts on or upgrade uh, the, sort of the quality of the parts you've already got. So no no big full resets are going to be taking place. Now, yeah, my fair ladies said vintage race tyres, 180 horsepower. It's going to be a little bit slow down the straight. It should be quick in the corners. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be the fastest thing in the corners, though. We will have to wait and see here. Uh, we will go up through the gears a little bit, and we can pull a gap. Now, if those lot fight, that would be very helpful indeed. I mean, I... <laughs> yeah, if we... Oh, that's a bit of street furniture that has killed all of our momentum. I forgot about that being on the apex there. That's very annoying. The good old Barry bus is... Uh, <laughs> is here, of course. But the Barry bus is in third. Barry Bus is having a good run at the moment. Uh, we've got Gullwing, uh, driven by Liam behind us. Blakey's there with a Datsun as well. Uh, of course, well, some of these vehicles may be built slightly skewed, knowing they're going to have more PI to play with later. You could do that if you chose. Uh, I've built what I think is a good C-Class car, uh, and then we'll sort of take it from here, really. Uh, we've got Blakey up to second with that Datsun. Uh, that that's going to be probably along similar lines to me, I would expect. I think it's got the wide body kit on. It's probably got some big tyres going on there. Uh, I have also got the wide body kit on this and fairly sizable tyres, so we should be good for grip. We will probably run vintage race tyres uh, through the upgrade process, if you like. In fact, we were able to pull away, and what's helped me massively is the level of fighting that has been going on back there. Uh, this, this is a good car. There's no, no doubt about it. This is a strong car. Uh, it is being flattered by the fact that the pack is having a massive argument and the Barry bus is causing a lot of the problems. Uh, I think the Barry bus is being a little bit of a roadblock really here. Uh, we've not had a great run through turns sort of one and two there. That was all a little bit uh, messy by me and it has allowed a Datsun to catch up a little bit perhaps. Let's just not do anything too mad with the uh, Fair Lady Z here. That is nice enough out of there. I mean, none of these cars are going to be blisteringly fast in a straight line. <laughs> there might be something with a lot of power. And if it does have a lot of power, it's not going to be enjoying life around this circuit, pretty much. Uh, this is very much a handling track. We can't even crack 90 coming up that hill. Uh, I've this could actually take so much more. I'm not really making the most of this car's grip. It can take so much more speed through these corners than I realise. It is just a go-kart, this. There is a huge amount of grip. Uh, we can just check it into the corners. Oh, although that man was asking a little bit too much. That was better, though. Oh, okay. Problem. Got on a curb. <laughs> this curb's mean sometimes. Glisk is up to third. I'm not actually sure what they're driving. I think they're on an Escort. Um, which, also a good base. You've got cars that are what you would expect to be a solid base for this. Um, Fair ladies, it's included in that list of things that, yeah, it's just a solid platform to build upon. I uh, mean, you might find when we get further on into the into the session. Oh, the other rules have to be two-wheel drive cars, of course. Um, when we get further on, this might become more difficult when we're starting to add more and more PI. Some of these cars that are good here might not be quite as competitive when we're getting closer to A-class almost. 
Uh, we are running it. We are running it a little bit ragged here. Uh, it looks like Ollie's actually now gone up into third place. There's a great big tussle going on for third. Uh, all we've got to do is just not do anything dumb on this final lap of the race here. Uh, try and keep Blakey at bay. We got a slide. That time we hit the curb nicer. Uh, I think as we hit the curb with both wheels that time, it was a little bit happier. So when we hit it with just one, it bobbles and unsettles it. We have had a good first sector uh, for our car. Oh, street furniture a little bit. That's fine. Uh, we were slowing down anyway, so it's all good. Yeah, we've had a better final lap. Not driven the best on this race, not going to lie. I've driven much better uh, around this circuit. However... It is going to be enough, and that is the thing that matters. We are going to claim a victory in the first race. Victory for the fair lady. I'm happy with that. We're going to get a nice haul of points. Uh, we will, yeah, claim that victory. Blakey will come home in second, I think. Ollie's going to finish with a golf in third ahead of the Escort, Corsa, Gullwing, DeLorean. Then there's the Barry bus ahead of the Corrado. Ah, oh, okay. First race is done. We get fast lap of the race. I'm going to presume that was on the final lap because I drove like a plank before that. First race is done. Now, points are to be awarded. PI is to be uh, changed. And then we shall see what happens. So, with our cars adjusted, we head on to the second race. Oh, the game's been really kind to me. This is actually very good. If I could personally control it, I would run this in, rever in, in reverse PI order. I feel like it actually kind of has mostly done it, which is nice. Uh, we had five PI to play with in the Fair Lady Z, and that gave me one upgrade on the air intake, which is, I think, five horsepower and three pounds lighter. Might even be less than that horsepower-wise. Uh, so, of course, the, the point of this is the gap between me and Blakey, who were second in that last race. Five PI isn't very much in this game. In fact, the gap between me and Ollie isn't crazy either, but it starts getting more and more to uh, other cars. We don't know how it's going to work. I mean, we're not going to win here. I know we're not winning this race. There's no chance we're going to win this race. We're still likely to... We're not going to be terrible. We've still, at the end of the day, got a very good handling car. We're going to be down on straight line speed uh, with the likes of the Barry bus. Uh, unfortunately, Lado managed to disconnect in the uh, loading screen for this. Uh, so Lado, who got the most PI to play with, uh, actually isn't in this one. Uh, can we fire up the inside of Barry the bus? We can. Now, missing a checkpoint is a death sentence in this sort of racing, uh, especially when you've got a low PI vehicle. Uh, we are going to fire it. No, we're not going to fire it. We're not going to be close enough to fire it past Barry there. Uh, and th the reason why it's called the Barry bus, if you haven't seen it before, is for some reason we don't. I don't know why it started, but it just says Barry on the side of the bus. So <laughs> it is called the Barry bus. <laughs> that's, that's it. It's not. It's not a big philosophical thing. It's just yeah. It has the name written on the side. Uh, anyway, we have got so much speed in this final section. We that's a lot too much speed through there. We've got a Lorian behind us uh, that has a whole bunch more PI. Oh, we can break way later than the Corsa, though, through here. We can carry the speed. We are up the inside. We will get into second place with the Fair Lady here. Now, Bus, you make a big hole in the air for my 180-something horsepower to uh, try and punch through. Yeah, I've still got way more grip than these vehicles I'm racing which is keeping me in the fight. Blakey's fallen back to 7th. I know there are probably some quick cars making their way through the field uh, at the moment. Uh, we are going to just try and not end up in the wall here. Uh, come on, fair lady. I don't know how much PI Ewan had to play with, but it's a decent chunk, actually. Um, oh, Ewan's missed a checkpoint as well! <laughs> oh, we've got Harris in the lead, but it's only going to be for a little bit because here comes the Corsa, but the Corsa doesn't have the grip to hold on to the uh, the Fair Lady Z here. Uh, we will last through there. I mean, if we can build enough time through these corners, even though uh, they have got considerably more straight line speed than we do, we might be able to hold on to a podium. I think, honestly, if I can hold on to a podium, I'll be really happy. Uh, we'll have so little PI for the next race, but we will have made some good points early on in this uh, little mini tournament here. Uh, if I could hold on to a win, it would be outstanding from this car. Um, I mean, it's held by the grip, but we're not the only grippy car here. I know how good that Corsa is. I've built them on this game before. They're fast. Uh, I've built a DeLorean, although admittedly my DeLorean was more of a powerful car for higher classes, but they can also be pretty solid here. 
I would put all the gap. Liam's fourth place. Uh, what's Liam driving? Can't remember. Probably should be worried about it. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, a little too far back. I mean, Ollie's golf, unlucky missing a checkpoint early on. But I think that could have very, very uh, easily sort of chanced it. Another car have built. No, they're strong. Uh, we are flat through the final corner. Uh-oh, there's a Vauxhall there looking for a way past, but we're going to send it a long way into turn one. And we're going to try and keep it out of the wall. We just kiss it a little bit through there. Not what we needed. The course is going to be looking again in no time at all. Yeah, this is going to be a difficult one to fend it off. I'm just going to keep sending the Courser uh, the long way round here because it, it just doesn't have the mid-corner grip to live with our Nissan. And it's here. This turn is probably where we make the most of our lap time up almost. Um, so it is, yeah, it is strong through there and it can push, just put us out of range for this next section. Uh, we struggle a little bit with the hill here. My gearbox might not quite be perfect for this. Uh, but i got to kind of accept that a little bit. Oh, you see, we'll just pull that gap. So the course is going to struggle. It'll again come barreling down here to have a look. It won't want to dive to the ins. It, it won't really want to try and pass through there. Because it's it knows it's going to struggle if it's side by side against the grippier car. And then we can just be quick through that final section. We've got to be careful it doesn't outrun us to the line. That is a real big concern for us. Uh, now, that is perfect into turn one. Try and carry the speed or get a little bit of oversteer. Actually just killed some of our momentum here. Come on. Come on, Nissan. You can do this. You can do this. I was not expecting this to be as competitive as it was. I thought we might score at half decent points, but this is uh, quite the uh, surprise. Get all the momentum we possibly can, and the course has made a mistake. And the best bit is it's blocked the DeLorean. <laughs> DeLorean was running wide there as well. Didn't really have it. I mean, the racing line takes you out wide there. The course has just hit the wall. And the DeLorean would already be fully committed to that corner. And, yeah, there is absolutely nothing the DeLorean could have done in that one. Corsa pushing hard. I mean, the Corsa had to. If it was going to pass me, it had to be very quick through that corner. And it would, you know, hope to outrun me down a straight somewhere. Amazingly... <laughs> I can't believe it's what's happened. <laughs> the fair lady score victory number two. We're going to be absolutely stuffed in this next race because we are going to have no, <laughs> no PI, but victory goes the way of the fair lady. Corsa takes second, DeLorean third, Gullwing in fourth. The golf climbs all the way up. Do I get fastest lap of the race? No way. No, we don't. The Corsa just beats us. Uh, we do go faster than the... Oh, no, the golf beats us, but only by thousands. We were right up there. <laughs> That thing was a monster. That thing was an absolute monster. We are off to the Emerald Circuit for our third race. I was going to show you this sort of building process and thought process that went on with it, but I've not really had much to do. <laughs> I have now got another four horsepower, and that's it. We are 10 PI where we started from, and I think we're going to get thrashed here. Uh, the Emerald Circuit. Um, I mean, I like this track. This is not a track for the low-powered fair lady. Lado's a class above, not quite, oh, it's 110 PI above me, actually it's a class. Um, there's so much more PI in that, uh, uh, in that vehicle. Amy's got a lot of PI in the Jag, wherever it is as well. Um, I mean, the pain is always going to, with this style of racing, the pain is always going to come, and the pain is, is here now. And everything is far, I mean, we were not a particularly fast car in a straight line to begin with, I already knew that. Um, but it's now just been exemplified by the uh, the previous races. But that's fine. My goal here, I mean, score points. If I can score as, just as many points as possible, I've got a great amount of points from two victories. Uh, let's face it, no one was really expecting any car to be able to do that. Um, certainly not in the, in the way that we did. So, uh, yeah, if we can have a good race here and just score solid points... Uh, then that would be... That's the most important bit, uh, really. Uh, we've got Ollie to the front with the Gulf. Uh, if I hadn't missed a checkpoint that last race, I do genuinely think that might have beaten us. I, I have no doubt, actually, that would have beaten us. Um, now, we are going to be good in this final corner. We've got a great handling car. Uh, we can fire to the inside of the uh, of the DeLorean. Now, Lado's going to have a crap ton of power in that Escort. It might not be that easy to drive, but it will be very, very powerful. The DeLorean is terribly slow in a straight line. It's got a Forza Aero on it. I'm not sure whether it needs it at this sort of uh, 
low, low PI level. Um, I certainly am not running the old Forza Aero on this one. Oh, I have got a Lado having trouble with an understeery escort. Uh, for some reason I thought that was an Escort Cosworth, not uh, the old RS Turbo. Uh, we're up to 7th. I mean, 7th is good points here. 7th is good points. And I mean, I'm hoping... I'm hoping in these corners, we might be down on PI, but I'm still hoping that we're going to have the grip to mix it with these, in theory, faster cars. Um, that's, yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's the sort of fingers crossed kind of a moment going on here. Uh, we are actually also kind of wanting Amy to win this race. Uh, we really want to see that Jag take... We want... So, I don't know. I'm not doing the, the points tally as we go along here. I don't know what the leaderboard situation... I mean, we, I know we're leading. Uh, having got two race victories, it's impossible for anybody else to be leading. Um, but I don't know how close cars are, and I feel like the Golf is a, is a perhaps a slightly serious, more serious threat than the Jag. The Jag was unfortunate and disconnected before the end of the previous race. So I would rather see the Jag at the front take points away from the Golf, because, I'm, as I said, I'm concerned about that Golf. Uh, can we do anything about Rusty? I mean, that is a good question. We know Rusty's also doing quite well. Uh, we've seen the PI for that Corsa is fairly close to us, so that's a good sign that they are... Uh, uh, they have been, yeah, doing uh, doing well in these. Uh, can we... I don't think we can catch this. Whether we can hold back the cars behind, really. We've had a good start. We've got ourselves out of trouble. Try and carry as much speed as possible through there, which we do. Now we're in trouble, though. Uh, <laughs> we're driving it as good as we can, and just off goes Blakey. We had a good race with Blakey in the first one. Uh, things went wrong in that second round for the Dats, and I'm going to guess possibly a missed checkpoint as well. So that will have a lot more straight line speed than us. Uh, oh, we've had, we've had a Lado disconnect. I've had a couple of cars disconnect, actually. Um... So, I mean, I guess the worst we can come is 10th, and by the looks of it, we're going to beat Speed Beast's uh, DeLorean. That thing's got no straight line speed at all. So, yeah, the worst we can come is 10th. I mean, that's still some good points for us in the sort of championship. Uh, we're so much, we're still so much nicer through the corners than that Datsun. Uh, we are going to get a chunk of PI. I just wonder whether we might not quite have enough. For the end of uh, for the final race or so, this is going to fire that one to the inside. Oh, I tried. Thought I might have the grip to make that one work. I did not. I should have yielded. Uh, actually, that, that escort's got more grip than I thought it did. I mean, the pain. We were expecting the pain to come somewhere. <laughs> we were so far down in PI. It's not a surprise at all that it has that it has that it has come here. Uh, yeah, it's always going to be a little bit of a struggle. We're desperately still cheering on that Jag. I don't think the Jag's going to do it. Uh, the Barry bus looks like it might get a podium here. Uh, with a Corrado in fourth. Yeah, we just slipped back. Uh, we, had a, we had a great start, but I just can't live with the pace of these other cars. We can be quick through this section. I mean, we've got very, very, still got very good handling. We can quick through there. We'll quick at the final corner, but it's just not enough. The DeLorean looks horrible. Uh, but <laughs> that's, that's just, that's got... Almost worse straight line speed than me, and a whole load more PI has gone into that. So the Lorian's having its own struggles. Uh, here, we will round the final corner. It's going to be a ninth place. There's some points in ninth. It's not, I say, it's about what was expected. For a brief moment at the start, it looked like we might throw in a surprise where we had a wonderful, wonderful start. But sadly, we just couldn't quite keep it. We head into the final race, and I have a bit more power in my car. We've got 230 horsepower now, which is something, at least. I'm not the lowest PI. Uh, in fact, Holly's Golf has ended up uh, 10 PI lower than me. Uh, so me, Rusky, and Ollie are all close together, and then the rest of the field are actually all quite close together. Liam's kind of straddling the two groups a bit. Uh, the Astadia Circuit is our final race. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to see. From this one, I feel like I'm in a decent position, but this race—if we can—if we can go well here, I feel like my lack of top speed might screw us a bit. We will have to wait and see, though. Uh, our handling is going to be good again. Uh, we know. Then there are a few cars running aero uh, actually in this, and they might have a tough time, or they might be awkward to drive. And we'll have to wait and see. I stuck a turbocharger on my car, and that was most of my uh, upgrades here. There's a turbocharger and one other, like, pistons, I think. 
and that was it. Um, oh, and a lightened drive line because I had like one PI to play with. So, yeah, again, not re not really had much building work to be doing on this. We have got more straight line speed than the Corrado here. Uh, all that drag from the aero is uh, slowing that thing down. The Corrado has been swapped to rear wheel drive, which is a brave way to go for this final race. Uh, we can throw it in here with a lot of speed. The only problem is I can't throw it in there with as much speed as I wanted to because uh, there was a lot of cars in front of me. Can we try to go around the outside of some people? I do not know here. Oh, that is the plus point with the aero, though, as the Corrado can do that, uh, which I cannot, unfortunately, do. Uh, we do need to get a move on here. I don't really want to fight the Volkswagen. I don't want to fight... <laughs> I want to be on my own. I want to be on my own running away at the front. It's three wide. Battle for the lead between the Escort, the Barry Bus, uh, Blakey with that Datsun Speed Beast. DeLorean is heading up to that group as well. If we can be neat and tidy, and oh, Blakey missed a checkpoint somewhere through there. That is unfortunate. Corrado's looking to the outside. It's a brave move. And it could almost work if the Volkswagen had any top speed at all, which it doesn't. Uh, they've got to watch the horde behind. Uh, we know Ollie's Golf is uh, definitely a threat. Uh, the Corsa has also been strong throughout. I don't know where Amy's Jaguar is. expecting that to go well. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's the most powerful car here, I think. Oh, we are quick through that section. We pulled clear of the Corrado. Speed Beast is having a look with the DeLorean. But the DeLorean's been all over the shop uh, in terms of performance in this. One race is battling for the podium. The next race is battling with, uh, well, me when we're ninth and 10th. Uh, it has, I mean, the, the, the theory of this event has kind of worked. Uh, the Barry Bus is having a good run. Corrado is an absolute monster in that final section, but then it just gets slaughtered as soon as we get to a straight. We're pulling clear of the Gullwing uh, back there. Yeah, we can't... I mean, so we beat the Corrado down the straight, but just about everything else beats us, but that's fine because we just about beat everything else in the corners still. So I mean, we're like 50 PI down on a lot of these cars, almost, and we're still able to match them in the corners. Admittedly, one is a bus. So that doesn't really count here. Corrado's to the outside. Come on, listen. I want to be. I need to be clear of that Volkswagen by the time we get to the chicane. I do not want to go too wide through that chicane. And I think we will be just. We are just going to be clear. That's important because uh, we're going to lose so much time if we were going side by side through there. Oh, fair lady, don't visit the scenery like that. We may have to defend from the Corrado. We send it the long way round. I don't think it's going to matter a crazy amount. Uh, Corrado can just run in with all the speed in the world. It has the grip to do it, and we lose that fourth place. Can I get past Chris before turn one, though? This is the bit that matters, and it is very, very important uh, if we can do this, because if we don't get this done, we're going to really struggle. Uh, there is... Oh, there's a bump there. Oh, Christ. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> There's a Merc on the outside. We're going to go three wide. Uh, I did not intend to launch into the door of the Volkswagen. Uh, unfortunately, there was like the kind of guttering almost that uh, we hit and fired our car into the air. Uh, okay, what can we do now? Can we hold on to fifth? Will fifth be enough points-wise? I think it could be. It's the, it's the Golf that I'm most worried about here. Uh, the Golf is the thing that I am really worried about in terms of keeping behind us. The Mercedes is just too fast down the straight. Unfortunately, I think we're going to be better than the Merc through this chicane, but uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to really do much with it. No, uh, Corsa is currently fighting away with that uh, VR6 Golf. We head into the final complex once more. We have got one more lap to go here. Uh, can we do anything? I mean, if the Merc has a big wobble... No! Oh! The Merc had a big wobble, and that might have killed us. That might actually have killed us completely here. Ah, oh. I mean, that might be the end of our championship. It's going to be very, very close here if we can't get back past those cars, and I don't know if we can. I don't know if we have time to. Uh, I have to go on the brakes, though. I can't afford to miss that checkpoint. And not, say, not Liam's fault. Liam just got on the power, and the back end of the Merc let go, and in trying to catch the sliding Merc, uh, it just ends up in the way of me, who had a very, very good run. Uh, can I do anything? We really need to find a way past this golf. Uh, 
What can I do? Where is the move going to happen? The exit of the chicane, maybe? We've got to be absolutely perfect through the chicane. There is no other... Uh, oh, we're not going to be perfect because we're a little wide. No, pushed it too hard. Uh, Rusky cleared out the junk for us. Ah, this race. Oh, that's a, such a good start. It has fallen apart at one of my favourite tracks on the game as well. Uh, Rusky bobbles the kerb. Has got a lot of company there. In fact, well, Rusky running wide has kind of slowed down the golf. And if I hadn't run wide myself, maybe we could have... Oh, this bloody race. I'm really, really annoyed with this one. No. <laughs> oh, we actually managed to end up fucking Blakey up here. Uh, I don't know what's happened overall. I... Uh, I'm disappointed. I'm really disappointed with that one. Yeah, it, it was a, it was an unfortunate bump at just the wrong time, the wrong angle. Gliska takes victory. Oh, I think it might have gone wrong at the end there. I think we might be done at the death after a very strong start. We will have to wait and see what the points say. Hopefully, the early victories will be enough. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. So, on to the leaderboard, and I do indeed claim victory with the Fair Lady Z, only just though. In fact, me and Ollie's Golf tied on points in all of this. Uh, I will take victory over virtue having two victories to Ollie's one. It was, well, yeah, as close as you can get, really. <laughs> one of these. Let's get a surprise third place for the Escort. Uh, a sort of stronger finish to all of this meant it leapfrog uh, Rusky's Corsa for that third place. Corsa will be fourth ahead of Speed Beast's Deloria, but it's very, very close. As we kind of hoped, we didn't really know how this is all going to pan out. But the answer is it's bloody close because there is literally a solitary point between fourth and fifth, fifth and sixth, sixth and seventh, only a couple of points between seventh and eighth. Uh, in this one. I mean, Blakey's only 15 points down on the, you know, the top vehicles. Uh, Amy in 10th uh, is a little bit further back, but did suffer a disconnection. Mute and Ladder had connection troubles as well along the way. Uh, so, I mean, I would say this works. I would say this actually works pretty damn well. It was good fun. Uh, my Nissan threw up a, a stunning performance in that second race. How it did that, I don't know. Um... <laughs> I scored my points early on. I got 40 points in two races. And then we proceeded to almost throw away a massive lead in the later stages. But that's the way it goes with this title race. I really enjoyed this, actually. It was really, really good fun. May well have to come back and try this again at some point. Maybe with different starting PIs and so on. But, uh, yeah, it was uh, really, really cool. Anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a goodbye.